I do like the 556 series of Zinn and over here I've done an overview video of my collection and other models. This video is about the 556 anniversary released in the year of 2016 uh, for the 15th anniversary. Hello and welcome to Watch Maxi's Watch Videos. My name is Axel. I'm happy to have you on the show. As I said, this video is about the SIN 556 anniversary released in the year of 2016 as a benchmark milestone for the SIN 15th anniversary. And it was a lucky coincidence that it's matched with my 50th birthday. So it was a perfect fit to get this particular watch. The 556 anniversary is limited to a thousand pieces. So it's, it's not really strongly limited, but it's uh, no longer available newly from Zinn. So if you would like to have it, you have to go to the used watch market. Description and details below in the uh, video description. And now let's move on to the presentation of this really nice watch. As you can see here, it's a gray sunburst dial and it's a kind of noble watch. It's, uh, it's much more noble and dressier than the standard 556, but yet it has a touch of, of sporty approach and um, I really do like it. As you can see here, if I get the focus right, yep, here we are. The indices are applied and not just colored and printed. That's the difference and you see no date disturbing the really great face and dial of the watch. Another um, point to distinguish from the standard version is not only the applied indices, but also the hands. The hands are not just printed, but they do have a metal frame as you can see here. And within this frame, um, the hands are filled with luminous color. So it, it looks a bit more noble and dressier made with a little bit more effort than just the painted and colored hands and uh, for me it, it really upgrades the watch into another class without adding an extremely price tag to it the watch was about 100 or 150 euro more expensive than the standard one but comes along with a couple of features which really do add value to the watch Currently, the watch is applied to a two split pallon, which I personally do like in the summer. And here you see my personal winter choice. It's a, it's a grayish um, alligator strap. So perfectly uh, uh, matches to the watch. And what I'm going to show you now is a gray suede watch, a uh, suede strap. This is how the watch was presented and originally sold. Um, it fits well, but I do like the leather strap more than that. What I'm missing here a bit is the contrast between the strap and the watch. It's, it's perfectly fine, nothing wrong with it, but I do like the other version better. Um, what I'm going to show you is some other straps, which um, wouldn't be the first choice, but I think they, they do well on the watch. Here we have a mid-brown leather strap, which really makes the watch stand out a bit more and it really puts the focus to the watch rather than the strap and well it, it works good it works fine although it wouldn't be my very first choice but i think you can wear it that way um, what i'm now, now going to do is a kind of experiment a strap which i bought for a different watch it's a Morelato natural wood. The outer side is real wood while the inner layer is leather and the wood is set into some, some rubber mass. And um, well, let's, let's try how it looks like. And uh, what I can see from here, um, I won't wear it that way. I don't think it fits very well and um, that brings me to the conclusion that the anniversary is a great watch, but not as versatile as other watches out of the 556 series. Yeah, that's uh, the 556 series. And there are a couple of straps, which I personally would never wear on that watch. 
and um, so I'm going to present you some some no goes from my point of view, and one of these no goes is the Zin rubber strap, which is a pretty pretty sporty strap and. On the noble and dressy anniversary for me personally it's a no-go let's quickly put it aside I don't like it uh, I have another strap which I would not put to that watch I'm just proving my statement that the watch is not as versatile as others here we have another dark brown strap it looks slightly better than the Morelato natural wood but again it's not the way I would wear the watch because um, for me the, the contrast is too low and the brown doesn't fit to the gray dial. But the strap itself is very interesting. It's a Hirsch performance, outer layer leather, inner rubber, waterproof, durable for more than three years, perfectly wear. Um, as a sample at the beginning, this is the two split perlon, which is my personal first choice for the summer light um, leaves air pass through the strap dries fast and matches perfectly to the watch i really do like it a lot yeah and again that's my my winter choice and for me that's the perfect watch for any uh, formal attire i'm not saying black tie white tie but formal attire it perfectly matches and uh, makes you look good in, in nearly any situation. Yeah, that's the 556 anniversary. Uh, three more videos to follow with the brown one, with the blue one and the standard one with the red second hand. Look forward to it. Subscribe to my channel if not yet done and enjoy my videos. Thanks for being on the show and look forward to what's coming up.